What's up everybody? It's Titanic Fee Jack and I'm back today with an early review. Before we get into that, I need a couple things from you. I need you to hit that like button on today's video. Also leaving a comment in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts on today's video. And if you haven't already, sub up to the channel. And also do read that description box. There's some good info in there. You can follow me on other platforms. Those links are down in the description and other ways to interact with me as well. Now today's video, we're looking at a sneaker early review. Uh, the release date is, uh, as of time of recording this video, is All-Star Weekend, I believe February 18th is the day that this sneaker is set to release, but if you've seen the box, you've probably seen this box all over sneaker YouTube, but I got me an early pair. And y'all know my size 14. Uh, it's like hit or miss. Not sure if Nike is gonna release it or what. But you see the box, red jaw jump man. I got a little nick right here. Happened doing shipping, you know. Here's that box tag. Gonna read it out to you. It says Air Jordan 13 Retro, and the color is black, true red, and white, and it is a size 14. Uh, the price on these, I think, is going to be $200. I'm not 100% sure, but it is. I'm going to put it on the screen. You got your tissue paper, white, rough on one side, a little smooth on this side. Look inside the box. It has no uh, stamp. No YDM sticker. That's everything that came in the box. Shout out to that boy Fine Line 1721. I got that from the legendary Fine Line 1721. But this is the box. Let's hop into the sneaker. Here we go, guys. We have the Air John Retro 13 playoff. We got the playoff 13. A uh, little background on the sneaker. My debut the sneaker back in 1998 at the NBA All-Star Game, which is always around Mike's birthday. Somehow, Mike's birthday always falls on All-Star Weekend or around All-Star Weekend because his birthday, I believe, is February the 17th, if I'm correct. If I'm wrong, put the correct date in the comment section. And it's three days after Valentine's Day, so, you know, Mike always do a little something special for his birthday. And I believe this upcoming birthday for Mike, he will be making the big 6-0. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I believe he's making 6-0. But, uh, yes, he debuted this sneak in 98 at the NBA All-Star Game, which took place at the Mecca, the Madison Square Garden in New York. And now we're getting the 20. 23 version of this, like I see it set to release All-Star Weekend this year, 2023, and the game will be taking place in Utah of all places. Only thing I got against Utah is y'all need to send that jazz nickname back to New Orleans. But there's no jazz in Utah as far as I'm concerned. Now getting into the sneaker, we got that basically the majority of sneakers is black. You got that black leather right here. Some real good leather on here. You got this, uh, these little indentures on the 13s. And like you normally know get on them, but I recently found out these represent the whiskers of the black cat, which was one of Michael's nicknames. He was nicknamed the black cat because of his prowess and his quickness on the basketball court. And you do have a little Shaw Grand New Buck right here in black. And right here as well, give you a look at that hologram cat eye right there. And on your more of that new buck on the midsole, and you got your white paws, which symbolizes the paws from a black cat. The paws. And this is the uh, outsole of the sneaker. Like I said, your hairbone traction on the white paws. One, you got two, 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 it look like a all of a black cat. Uh, you got your hologram right here with the jaw jump man. You got that carbon fiber right there and right here. And give you another look at the 
feel of the sneaker. Black new buck right there. Black, looking at the medial side of the sneaker. More of that black leather. You got your little indentions on your dimples right here. Symbolizes the uh, black cat whiskers. And you do have that new buck right here in black as well. You got a little new buck on the midsole right here with the white hit for the uh the paws and a little hit of that red right there uh toe box leather on 11s i tend to lack a lot because they be coming with it on the 11s in my opinion i'm sorry the 13s i'm calling these shoes the 11s these the 13s why air jordan 11s are on my mind as i show you the tissue maybe i'm wondering what the air jordan 11 of 2023 is going to be but well, look at the leather on here, nice and soft and tumble. You do have your Jordan uh, tab right here on 13s. And for the first time, I don't know, ever to my memory, you don't have the Roman numeral 13 right behind here. You got your little skinny type oval laces, lace all the way up. These are the only laces these come with. You do have a full new buck tongue going on here you have an embroidered red jordan jump man with the gold circle going around it and this is like the only jordan 13 that i can remember that has this uh gold circle going around there if there's another leave that in the comment section but i believe that's it as i show you guys this sizing tag you'll see that right there and I'm going to read it to you. It says U.S. size 14 and the production date is July the 8th of 2022 to uh, October 20th, 2022. So like about three and a half months of production with these. Uh, you have a black sock liner going on, a little smooth type. And get you guys, let's get you guys a look at that insert if you can see. Try to get you a good look. It's a black insert with a red jaw jump man. You do have your sizes sticky in here. It's US size 14. So are you guys gonna be trying to get these on All-Star Weekend? Normally Jordan brand plans a little something uh good for All-Star Weekend in the uh whole city. Not sure how many people gonna be jumping at the bitch to go to Utah. Uh We'll see. Maybe there's a sneaker con out there. I don't know, but uh, leave your comments about the sneaker below and your intentions. If you're getting this or not, let me know some fire emojis you're about to get it or thumbs down if you're not. Because we're picking up in the month of February. We're getting a lot of releases between February and March. We're getting some OG. The fit on this sneaker, the fit is true to size. You can get your... Your regular sizing these these do fit through the size guys and this is the sneaker and like i always tell you guys if you can help somebody get a sneaker help them get that sneaker because you never know but it will be your turn to need help getting a sneaker i'm titanic feed jack i'm signing out